Tuve Tenenbaum, shalom. Shalom, Yoni. Vos Herzach. Vos Herzach. Thank you, you very much for coming into our studio. Thank you for having me again and again. It's a pleasure to see you. Uh, you're, of course, an author, a journalist. You wrote many books in which you delved into the society that you're researching, that you're writing about. You wrote about the United States of America. Very, very interesting. You wrote about the Palestinian Arab issue. And now you delved into the Haredi. Some call it the ultra-Orthodox community. Tell us about, first of all, how you did it. First of all, it's a pleasure to see you, Yoni. Okay, so how do, how do I do it? Huh? What do you mean I do, do it? You, you get off the plane, you take a taxi, mm -hmm. you go to Jerusalem, to Jerusalem, you go to Mashorim, you rent a place over there, and you live there for over a year, and that's how you do it. That's but how you in this case, I understand, they, they identified you very, very yeah. fast. I mean, you weren't usually, able to disguise yeah, yourself. Yeah, usually it's like, you know, I have all these names, they are all right, but, but they are honest also, I mean, I am a, a German journalist. author, I'm a German journalist, I mean, I'm, you know, and uh, I live partly in Germany, I have mm -hmm. a, a German green card, as I've been mm -hmm. I, I have the whole thing, you know, but, but here it's like the first time when I came with my wife and I said to her, okay, let's go to, Mir, to the heart of Mir Shorim, because we, are, we took a place in Malon, mm -hmm. in a Malon, Spania, a over hotel. there, mm -hmm. in a hotel, and so I said, let's go to the heart of Mir Shorim, to the Shuk, to the Kasbah, to the, and so you go over there, and in the first half hour, five people approached me. Tuvie, Reb Tuvie, Vuzetzach, how you doing? What are you doing? What are you writing now? It's like I was amazed to see that the Haredim read my books. It was shocking. And that's really one of the conclusions, right? Understanding how open they are to what's are happening amazing, in the world. They are amazingly open. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Haredim, I mean, it's like during, during the year, I mean, it's like... Would you come to me and say, Tuvia, what you wrote in that book, uh, the first time the Kesh the Jew, page 135, line 7. Ah, this is uh, honey, the honey, the, 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 the sweet like honey. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like, I don't know what I wrote in that page. I have no idea what that page is. I don't, of course, not the line. I don't even know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. But they read it. This is very nice. Now, some, some may feel that some of the text in this book is maybe not fit for the observant. You talk a lot about issues of sexuality, of what is considered sniut, modesty, in the Haredi public. Did you think that that would be one of the topics you would be focusing no, on? No, not at all. What I thought the topic would be, I mean, because I was in the Haredi world, but many, many years ago, I mean... As a child. As a child, mm -hmm. as a very young man. But uh, what, you know, what, what do you know about Haredim, you know, from the, from the media? What do you know from the media about Haredim? You know that they are violent. You know that they are stinking and sweating. You know they are, if you are not religious like them, they'll throw stunts at you if you walk in the neighborhoods. People told me, even religious people. I asked, I, I tell them, I have an idea, I only live with the Mayor Shoren. Don't dare. The first night you come there, people will congregate next to your place where you live, and they'll start screaming, go in your voice, go get out of get here. Go get out of here, go and get out of here. Mm -hmm. But this has not happened. What happened is totally different. They are very welcoming, amazingly welcoming, amazingly, amazingly. They invite for Friday night's dinner, for Shabbos morning dinner. They come to visit us in the hotel. We go to visit them whenever it is. We go to the street when we talk, we chat. It was amazing, amazing. And yes, do I deal, do I think I will deal with what peop, some people say, oh, you're talking about sneers, sexuality, and this is, you know, how can you do that? It's, it's, it's frightening. How can you even write those words? It's not, first of all, I say, you know, people, stop protecting the Haredim. They are normal human beings. They are very happy and very proud of what they are. We, we have to stop treating them as, as so sensitive creatures. Oh, God, if you touch them, they break. No, it's not. It was patronizing it's, when you did that? It's so patronizing. It's like amazingly patronizing. Do I write about sneers? Of course I write about sneers. This is to talk to me about this. But they talk to me about this. They do all kinds of things that you know you cannot say it in the open. You cannot say this. Why not? Why not? So you fell in love with this community? Yes, I did fall in love with this community. I think they are like, I mean, just go to the Shabbos and see other people. Everyone, you know, you walk on the streets over there, and everyone has his own nigun, you know, as they say, good Shabbos. I got Shabbos, and they'll say, Oh, you get in Shabbos. It's like the way they sing it even, you know, it's like, it's like so welcoming. Am I just, it's not a propaganda book, by the, by, mm -hmm. 
by the way. Am I also critical? Of course I'm critical. Our laws, they are human beings. But it's there is no, uh, there is no, you know, no human being who is perfect, mm -hmm. including me. Maybe you, but including me. Really? <laughs> it took you some time. You had to go into the community of to course, understand. Of course, it took so, some time. So, so, and the, the, the community, the society in Israel are not all open to spend time in the Haredi world. Yeah. What do we do about the rift? that is in our society, and we're talking today yeah. in days that are seen by many as terrible days in terms of what's going on with the unity of the people of Israel. How do you see it? I mean, again, as an outsider, because I don't live here, I mean, it's like I live you know, one year in Meshorim, but <coughs> I don't live here, I don't live here. But as an outsider, as a Jew, it's frightening to see it. I am really worried, I really feel bad. I see that, what, that history repeats itself. You know, 2,000 years ago, he lost this land because of Sinat Chinam, because we hated each other. There was so much hate between us. Every time we lost it, we had, we had, we had Israel for two times in our history before. And now we have Israel for 75 years. We never had it for 75 years. It looks like we reached a point psychologically, you know, that we say, okay, let's break it now. Let's hate each other as much as we can. Let's break the whole thing from its, you know, from its yesodot, from its foundations. That's what it looks like. And it's, and it's really bad feeling. I see the country, I see the people, you know, people don't look at each other, and they try to ram, I'm, I'm not taking any sides about the, the, judicial, the, reform. the judicial reform, it's not, uh, but I think that the way they ram it into, uh, into the Knesset, the way you do it so fast, and disrespect to the other, like we are Jews and we are not, we are majority and we are Gornish it, it's this is not the way to do business. This is not the way. I have not seen something like this. You want to make it a change? Okay, do a change, but not like this. I mean, I, I live in Germany, I live in the United States, I'm, I'm going around the world. The only places I saw and that something similar to this was like in, in, in uh, Hungary, but even there, not so much. I mean, this is like, what, what you're doing here is, is it, it's too fast, too much, too fast. But with disrespect. And, and now and both sides are disrespecting each both other. Both sides. Both sides are disrespecting one another. And that is not correct. The hatred here is frightening. Because I don't know, I'm not a novi, I'm not a prophet. If the Israeli society will be able to ever get over this period, you know, if not too many people start living, and if you are not losing the land one more time. But if there was a book, how to do it, how to destroy a land, how to lose a land, if I were to write a book, let's say somebody gave me an assignment, you know, gave me an assignment to write a book, how to take the land of Israel and destroy it totally. I would write the same, everything that's happened now, that's what I would write. That would be step so by step. give us a solution. Step by step. Give us a solution. At least wake what you up, hope will happen. Wake up, stop. Stop everything. Everything. Everything, stop. Let's sit down and talk. Stop. Stop. For God's name, stop. You see what happens on the streets. You can call hundreds of thousands of people anarchists or leftists. You want me to tell you what is left? The Gideon Levy is a leftist. Not the hundreds of thousands are going on the street. Some of them are left, but most of them are not. This is your brother. These are your brothers and sisters, Rebbein Shloilam. What are you doing here? How do you treat your brothers? Would you, would you allow this in a table, in a family table, these kind of fights? Wouldn't you say, let's rest, stop? Rebbein Shloilam, stop and talk and treat the other as equal? Tovia Tenenbaum, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having and me. And we'll meet in your next book? Yes. What's the next book? I don't know. I never know. You see, I don't decide before. Somebody tells me, it so comes from an idea, okay, so, Tovia, would you like to do this and this and that? Mm -hmm. And I'll pay you this and this amount of money. So either I say I don't like it or I say I like it, but I, I, you have to pay me a little bit more. Okay. You know, that's Waiting for the next exactly. idea. <laughs> Tovia Tenenbaum, okay. thank you very much thank for joining you, us. Thank you, Yoni. It's a pleasure to be with you. And ladies and gentlemen, it was a pleasure to be with you.